This is Michelle Mavelli. And this is Jono Morisano. And we are... The Gray. You're gonna have to forgive the dogs. As we're all, we've all been quarantined. We have three dogs running around the house, drinking, barking, snacking when they feel like it. So all the background noise is them. So today we're gonna to be making dirty rice from our new book, Black, White, and the Gray. So the first thing that I wanna do is soak my chicken livers in a little bit of milk. We met about seven or eight years ago in New York City when I kind of had this harebrained idea of starting a restaurant as a second career. I knew I needed a business partner and I needed a business partner that knew something about restaurants. And um, Sham and I were introduced by her old chef and mentor. After six months of getting to know each other, we decided to do it and we started The Gray. Right now, I am cutting up the Trinity for our dirty rice. And so it's going to be equal parts celery, onion, and green bell pepper. Right behind me, I have some water boiling. I'm going to cook the rice like pasta. The first time that I ever had dirty rice was at a um, beloved restaurant in the South called Bojangles. <laughs> <laughs> and I was probably 10 or 11 years old and we were going through the drive-thru and we you know my mom ordered it and she gave it to us kids and it was delicious so i'm gonna add some chopped garlic to um my trinity because why not garlic is delicious so we're gonna drain the rice we're gonna pour the rice into a strainer this is what i do when we cook it's usually i'm assigned the picking leaves off of vegetables task which is fine by me. We're gonna chop up these livers and begin our cooking. I'm gonna pat these dry a little bit and I'm gonna chop them pretty fine because I want the livers to coat the rice. That's the part that makes it dirty. And I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna do a rough chop over until it's all chopped up. Like if people either don't like liver or if they wanna use something else, like what other meats can you use in this or proteins? I think you can use any protein you want. I think um, the thing that would keep it Creole would be the gumbo filet, which is made of sass sassafras leaves. Um, that will keep it Creole. The Trinity, the Holy Trinity keeps it Creole. If you don't like chicken livers, you can use ground lamb, you can use ground chicken. You can use pork, beef, your favorite protein you can use. I would even use some fish. What's the veggie version? The veggie version? Tofu? I'm gonna go okra. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So let's go. Go in the pan. We're gonna go in with our vegetables. I just really think we eat dirty rice as a way to stretch out a protein. I think rice is really good for that. I think that rice helps um, fill you up. So it's nice to flavor it with something. Can you please add the garlic to the, to the sauteed vegetables? And immediately you smell the garlic as yeah. soon as it hits the pan. Yeah. So a little bit more butter. We're gonna let our butter foam up a little bit. And we're gonna dump in our livers. We want to fully cook these. I'm just going to add a little salt. And once we're starting to see that they're mostly cooked through, we're going to deglaze with a little bit of brandy. Yeah, you didn't think I could do that. I didn't think you could do that. <laughs> So I think this is cool. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna add vegetables here. So we got our vegetables, we got our liver. I'm gonna add my gumbo filet. That's about two tablespoons. And you want this to be a little dry. You don't want it to be sort of stopping wet. If you need a little bit more liquid, add a little splash of water. That's totally fine. But you want the dry, you want it to be dry because you want it to adhere to the rice. And then we're gonna add our rice. Right now I'm adding in our long grain rice. I wouldn't use short grain rice. Um, it's a little too sticky and a little too sweet. 
And I wouldn't use uh, a brown rice, but you can, if that's all you have, you can use brown rice. Brown rice is delicious and it goes well with um, all of these flavors. You want it to be a little dry. You don't want the rice to be wet. So drying it out in the oven or using day old rice is probably your best bet. So now we're fully incorporated and I'm going to taste for salt. Yeah, pretty good. Is it pretty good? Yeah, pretty good. I want to taste it. <laughs> it's light. Not really it's not good. too livery, mm -hmm. but you know it's there. Yeah. yeah. But also like all those different things, like the little bit of milk, the little bit of mm -hmm. brandy, mm -hmm. um, the little bit of garlic. Mm -hmm. It just like builds flavor, layer of flavor on flavor. Yeah. It's really good. I'm gonna add some parsley. Gonna add our, a little bit of our celery leaf, just because they were free. We got them for free. They came with the celery, so you should just use them. We can incorporate it back in. Grab your biggest platter. <laughs> Why not? One that says spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> okay. From here, a little bit more parsley. Would you drizzle some olive oil or anything like that? Absolutely. A little Is bit. Is there anything you wouldn't drizzle olive oil on? <laughs> <laughs> you can squeeze a little lemon juice over it. Wake it all up a little bit. I think it's done. You want it to be a little dry. You don't want the rice to be wet. So drying it out in the oven or using day old rice is probably your best bet. This is it. Yep. Dirty rice. All right. It smells so great. So let me know what you think. I'm gonna tell you. Pretty good. Pretty good. The lemon just takes it to another level. It just brightens it up. For the recipe, you can click the link um, below, or you can always go buy the book. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> um, and the, re the recipe for dirty rice is on page 135. Um, and again, thank you everybody for um, for watching. Thank you so much. These dogs have been so patient. I'm wondering if- We're gonna give them a little. We'll give them They're gonna a eat a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody. Thanks everybody. <laughs>